Hello everyone, today I am going to make a comparison between two colors Fatelo Blue Green Shade and Fatelo Blue Red Shade and I will compare swatching uh, or color mixing with them I did uh, this comparison three and a half years ago and I will share later uh, these uh, uh, papers with the swatches uh, but we'll start now uh, with swatching them so these are really intense colors very staining it's very beautiful also and I love them as, as mixers and of course this is what this video will be about they have a high tinting strengths And they are uh, prone uh, to cauliflowering. So this is Fatal Blue Green Shade, and now we'll swatch. Fatal Blue Red Shade Pick the wrong one for a minute okay. So you can see how intense it can be I think I like them uh, both almost the same way, maybe the red shade a little bit more. Um, but uh, each of them have uh, has different uh, mixes that I like. So these are the colors. I'm thinking maybe I will add a little bit of the fake low green shade. Okay. Um, let's start with the yellows. So we'll start with lemon yellow, Daniel Smith lemon yellow. All the colors here for now is the uh, Daniel Smith. So we'll put it here as a lemon yellow. And let's start mixing one moment so we'll start with the green shade and you can see it creates kind of a turquoise color a very beautiful one until it comes back to the blue let's put now the red shade we'll add more of the lemon yellow What I like uh, about uh, the mixes of uh, the red shade is that they uh, create more of a kind of a moss uh, green. 
and the blue shade, uh, the green shade creates more uh, uh, like kind of a clean uh, washes or bright washes. Okay, next we'll mix them um, with the Crinacridon gold, of course, that I cannot live without. We'll start with the green shade. And also it uh, creates a really um, sappy greens, olive greens um, mixes that I love. Of course, with the red shade, it will be even more olive sap green because the red in the blue, as you can see. Yeah, and it's really, really nice. Really like uh, these uh, mixes. So overall, I prefer a uh, mixes of uh, Fatal Blue Red Shade with uh, the yellows. Let's play with a uh, red. So I think we'll start with Transparent Parallel Orange, which I will love. The Daniel Smith one, of course. Let's mix it with it with the green shade. I think I showed uh, this uh, mix before. Create some kind of uh, olive greens, some browns, uh, some burnt ambers really like uh, these uh, mixes now we'll mix it with uh, the red shade Create some uh, deeper browns like uh, Van Dyke uh, browns and some uh, turquoises and uh, yeah, I really love uh, the mixes. Next, we'll mix it with a uh, pyrrole scarlet, a mix I like a lot. Uh, Pyrrhal Scarlet is a PR255. I forgot to say that the uh, transparent parallel orange is, orange is PO71. Uh, it creates some uh, interesting. Uh, maroons and uh, crimsons uh, and brick reds that I love Let's mix it a bit more So Pyro Scarlet is also a high tinting strength uh, color. So let's 
so it's kind of a battle of uh, strengths with these uh, two colors the fate laws and the uh, pyros maybe in this watches the fate law will, will win And I'm thinking which more a uh, color to mix with it with them. I think uh, the Pyrrole Crimson of uh, Daniel Smith. It's a uh, PR two sixty four. You can see it creates some uh, crimson um, crimson um, violets or reds. Very beautiful colors. Next is a pyro crimson. with the, the red shade and as you can see the fiber the cream zone has a lower tinting strength um, than uh, the pyro scarlet and the pyro uh, red some more here. Yeah. So now we'll do other mixes. We'll just change the page. Next, um, I'm thinking maybe to mix it uh, with some. Uh, know about greens i think maybe with the uh, fake low green yellow shade pg 36 i think it will be interesting and i know that there are not uh, many swatches uh, of these uh, mixes with this color online so i will be happy to add mine as you can see it's a high tinting strength and um, green and you can see it creates some kind of a uh, turquoises and blue greens very beautiful Now let's mix it with the red shade. So if you hear a noise, it's my cats who want to share with us. But I don't let them in, of course because they will climb on this table and ruin everything <laughs> so you can see also beautiful turquoises here and next let me see um, I think maybe to mix it uh, with uh, Zoicide Genuine I think it could be an interesting uh, mix. Yeah. 
let's try so this is a genuine a primatech uh, of daniel smith it's a grayish um, green leaning more to the yellow side than the blue side i like this green a lot of course and I mix them together because of uh, the beautiful granulation of uh, the zoicite genuine. So you'll see how it goes. Now let's mix it with the red shade. Yeah, and I think it will be interesting. Okay. Um, now we will mix it. I think with the we we'll mix them with the yellow iron oxide, the transparent one, PY forty two. Yeah, I think it will be interesting. So I clean my brush. And now let's see it. So I hope it will create a, a muted a green leaning to gray. We'll see in a minute. I put less on my brush because the yellow iron oxide has lower tinting strengths than fake law a uh, blue because it's a muted earth tone let's mix it with the red shade some more of the yellow iron oxide yeah so yellow iron oxide is very granulating and it could be interesting we'll watch it after it uh, the swatches dries and i hope uh, that uh, this kind of uh, swatching is nice uh, for you if not uh, i will change it back uh, to the swatches I uh, did uh, before um, I'm not sure which uh, colors to put uh, now um, I'm thinking of um, Fake Low Blue Sorry um, And very friendly red uh, Sorry yellow iron oxide yeah it's a pbr6 it's a color i love of course if you watch my channel uh, you will know how much i love the enviro friendly colors of daniel smith the pbr6 i think they're great And it can create a, a closer to a black with uh, the green shade. Let's see it with the red shade. 
didn't add enough water. And yeah, in, in, even here it closer to black. I think maybe it's more like a Van Dyke brown in some areas. And yeah, beautiful mixes. Next is a, a new mix for me. Uh, I played with it quite a lot. It's a Venetian Red of Daniel Smith, a PR101. With the fake laws. I mostly played uh, with the green shade. And I really love uh, the mixes. In some uh, places, it reminds me, the mixes reminds me of uh, magnesium uh, brown and some hematites of the uh, warm and small. And in some places, it is a beautiful uh, turquoise color. So let's see it with the red shade. So I don't know if you can see it, but uh, with the red shade, it creates a uh, similar uh, colors, but uh, the big reds here are more Indian reds or Mars uh, reds. And uh, the other colors are more uh, violet uh, crimsons, the other mixes. Yeah, I really love it actually put some more of the red shade and the venetian red at the end okay next uh, let's see um, I thought maybe to mix all with one Van Dyke brown or maybe with hematite uh, burnt scarlet. I don't think I uh, played enough uh, with this mix ever. Let's see that I'm on camera. So if uh, you watched uh, my channel long enough, you know that it's one of uh, my uh, most beloved uh, colors. I use it a lot. And actually, it creates really interesting uh, use. Some kind of um, green and turquoise, more turquoise greens and turquoise uh, blues. Let's add a little bit here. Yeah, really interesting mixes. And let's watch with the red shade. So hematite burn scarlet is a primate color, that's why it doesn't have a pigment code. And 
beautiful granulating a uh, brown with some uh, peachy undertone oh put the wrong color one moment try to fix it okay never mind let's see the time on the camera and take now the right one And you can see in some areas uh, these uh, mixes with the red shade create a black. So um, hematite brand Scarlet can neutralize um, the fake low green, uh, blue red shade. So let's move this uh, paper. So let's continue. I'm thinking um, maybe to make it more interesting um, let's mix them with um, burnt amber yeah burnt amber or pure 101 pure 101 a uh, brown iron oxide I think it will be an interesting uh, mix with the green shade and it creates between olive uh, dark olive greens to more brown greens maybe let's put a bit more Yeah, I really love uh, the mixes. And with the red shade. Again, it creates some kind of a uh, brown greens and the uh, khaki colors. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, next. Um, I think we will mix maybe with the raw amber now. Yeah. And they will have to put less uh, fake blue, uh, blues because the lower tinting strengths of the raw amber well, creates really beautiful colors. Now 
let's now mix it with the red shade too much hope it will be okay yeah it's okay yeah i think that uh, these mixes has uh, some potential i like them mm. Maybe it will be interesting to mix or with hematite violet or with the uh, luna violet. Wonder which will be more interesting. Maybe we have a place for both. So let's start with the uh, with the hematite uh, violet, a primatech of Daniel Smith. As you can see, it's a low tinting strength color. So I will put less of the fake laws. And it's a very granulating a uh, color. So I think the results can be very interesting. Maybe put some more of the violet. Right. And with the red shade, hematite violet, again, is a Primatec of Daniel Smith. I like this color. I mostly paint with it uh, three barks in combination with other colors with red shade now put some more interesting uh, mix okay next um, I'm not sure about the Luna Violet well maybe yes it will be an interesting mix so Luna Violet is a speciality color of Daniel Smith it is made of Lunar Black PBK 11 and Ultramarine or Violet or Red uh, PV 15. As you can see, it could be quite a low tinting uh, strength color, but sometimes uh, I can make it uh, quite intense. You can see here. And yeah, it creates interesting mix. Let's put it here. And with the red shade. And some more Luna Violet. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Next, we'll uh, mix a uh, Bloodstone Genuine with these colors. And maybe it will be the last one. I will see if I have uh, some uh, space uh, for one more.
Okay, it's quite beautiful. And now the red shade with Bloodstone Genuine. to put some more of the red shade maybe some more of the bloodstone it's an undoubtedly interesting mix And maybe last but not least will be uh, or hematite or a uh, lunar uh, black and I think it will be an hematite because its granulation is more interesting I think for me anyway Yeah, interesting. And the last mix. With the red sheet. this direction so it'll be a better mix so I will write uh, the names of the colors and share them and uh, share all the swatches both from uh, this day and from three years ago and yeah hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this video have a wonderful time and happy painting